Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia and I am so happy that you are here because we are about to celebrate my birthday together. First up, I'm getting my nails done at Anne Space and I'm actually getting a design that my followers over on Instagram decided on. Next up, I headed to a party decoration store kind of thing and I ended up picking a couple of items for the birthday event. This year I am renting International Center Tilburg here in Tilburg, which is basically a place for all internationals and non-internationals to meet up and network, get to know each other and so on. But I decided to rent it out to host my birthday event and I just picked up a couple of things from this cute party store. Sadly, I didn't get the cowboy hat. After that, I just headed around the city center to run a few more errands before returning home. For tomorrow night, I actually got sent this vegan champagne and I'm so excited to try it. Um, then I got a tequila and then a red wine, a white wine, a Coke and an iced tea. I also just picked up some hummus, some tuck biscuits, a mocha chocolate, some knives for the cheese, um, the actual cheese. Then I got some olives and some grapes. I also picked up some vegan wine gums. So in terms of decorations and just some things for the table, I picked up these glitter numbers and this one obviously just has a four on it and the other half is a two to complete the number 24. I'm so excited just to have this on the table. I think it'll look so, so cute. Next up, I just got some balloons. So these are like pastel colors. There are some pinks, yellows. I don't know if there are blues in there, but some greens as well. Then I got some paper plates and these are just a nice baby blue. I also picked up some napkins. So just these lilac napkins. Then I got some honey and some marmalade for the cheese board that I want to attempt to make. I also got some Polaroids um, just to fill up my Polaroid camera, the board for the cheese board, some extra forks. Um, I picked up some candles as well. Then I got these paper cups because I'm not actually sure if the place is going to have cups or not, but I decided to bring my own just in case. And they are just this cute like pinkish color. Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. So I didn't really get to finish vlogging yesterday because I was way too tired. I had a couple of things that I needed to work on for uni as well. But today is Saturday the 3rd of July and tonight I'm celebrating my birthday event. Right now I'm headed over to Frenchie's Cafe in Den Bosch. It's one of my absolute favorite cafes here in the Netherlands. I love it, it's pink, it's girly, they have the best pancakes and eggs benedict. Um, well, the eggs benedict is a close second because I think the best eggs benedict comes from Mug and Bean, which is a cafe in Cape Town. But besides that, I'm very happy to be going. I'm going with Irene and also with Mehmet. So that is where we are headed right now. But first, I'm probably gonna change because it's a little hot outside and I feel super sweaty and gross, but I will see you guys in Den Bosch. Okay, so before I go, obviously a quick little outfit check. So I'm wearing a top that I thrifted when I was in Utrecht with Irene. I'm also wearing these jeans. They might be from Polybea or they might be thrifted. I'm actually not sure. Um, I'm wearing these white heels that I got from Pretty Little Thing a while ago and a Zaya jewelry tote bag as well as some accessories. <laughs> super happy to be back in Den Bosch. It's such a beautiful city. We ended up walking around for a little bit, just doing some sightseeing and then headed over to Frenchie's Cafe where we had a reservation for my birthday brunch. As usual, I had a coffee and this time it was iced. Irene and I both weren't sure if we wanted something savory or something sweet, so we got both. I ended up getting the eggs benedict and she got the unicorn pancakes and we split it. It was so delicious. Frenchie's Cafe hits the spot every single time. They have a location in Utrecht and they also have a location here in Den Bosch. And if you're obsessed with pink like I am, this is one of the go-to places to visit. Later that day, we headed over to International Center Tilburg where I welcomed some of my guests. It was a very wonderful birthday indeed. I also got these beautiful cupcakes made by Marsha's Cupcakes and Mo. And I actually got this design on Pinterest. Um, they're just these floral cupcakes and they were vanilla buttercream. We mostly spent the evening listening to music, which everyone complained about because my music taste is literally all over the place, but I had fun nonetheless. 
my friends also got to know one another because many of them actually have never met each other before so that was something new for them Later we also played some Monopoly and that was a lot of fun to watch because I know how these things go so I almost never get involved because people take Monopoly way too seriously. So right after the birthday event, I actually had a train to catch. I had a great evening and a great time with all of my friends and I'm so grateful that they were able to make it. But I also really wanted to see my best friend Ariana who lives in Slovenia. So that was what I wanted to do for my birthday above anything because I haven't seen her in two years so I knew I had to go visit her as soon as possible. When I arrived at the airport, her parents actually dropped me off at her work and I ended up surprising her. I love being a guest at Ariana's home because it's so welcoming, everything is cozy and there's such a lovely cottage core vibe. Also, a lot of the things in the room is pink and I was just so grateful to be able to see my best friend and be able to visit her at her home once again. We took the first day pretty easy, mainly just kind of spending some time in her garden and catching up because we hadn't seen each other in such a long time. And then we headed to Moon Bay Beach. came home, Ariana and I started making dinner. Well, actually she was making dinner, I was basically just recording her, but pretty much the same thing. One thing I love about visiting Ariana's family is that they always make such delicious food and treats. Some things I've never tasted before or experienced before because it's not something that I'm um, culturally familiar with. So it's always a treat to visit them and see what else I'm going to try this time. But I will let Ariana tell you a little bit more about that. <laughs> in Slovenia after a really long trip and so many things happened but I will fill you guys in on that along the way. Right now Ariana and I are in her kitchen and she is making us some dinner. Cheese. <laughs> Four <laughs> types of cheese. Four types of cheese. So here we have montasio, joscht, joscht, lepe misli, lepe misli, where did we leave off? Lepe so, something. Uh, yeah. Lepe misli. Mm -hmm. And this one, which I think is livada. We got a bunch of cheese. There we go. Now we're both in the shot. <laughs> Before it was, you know, that cartoon where you don't see the head of yeah. a person? That was me. Okay, and then we have. Can I help? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh no, you know what you can do? You can take the olives and we can put it on like a small little... Where do I get the olives? Oh, actually, you can just turn that. Where do I get the olives? Um, they're in the fridge. We have some olives. What do I do with the olives? Oh, it's not those. Oh, <laughs> okay. These are really... I mean, you can also have those, but these are really strong. We usually put these in the pasta. Um, there's not... Oh, these ones. These ones? Yeah. It was so lovely to be able to celebrate my birthday this way and I'm so grateful for everyone in my life. If you would like to stay for part two of my birthday vlog where I leave for Italy and travel around Slovenia, I will see you in my next vlog. Have a great day and goodbye.